Ryan Hippix, and today we have our week three team prep for our, well, we have our team prep for our week three IPBL match versus Sableye and the Miami Dolphinis. I'm, I'm having to do this match, like, quite early, but doesn't matter. I'm going to go over the team that I built for him. Um, most of this was on my own. Jadrick helped me this week, uh, more so than anyone else, so pretty cool stuff. His team is Tapu Bulu, Thunderous, Melotic, Porygon 2, Crocodile, Blaziken, Cresselia, Flygon, Mandibuzz, Moile, and Mock. So, one thing you can really notice by the team is it's slow. It's super slow. Fastest Pokemon is Thunderous at 111. Everything else is much slower than that. So, meaning, I was able to build uh, a couple Pokemon speed-wise to, only, to ha only have to outspeed the Crook, being its fastest other than uh, Thunderous Incarnate, which is really nice, actually, uh, because that gives me a lot of options to put EVs in other places. So... Yes, we're going to start out. The first Pokemon we're to bring in is Atlas the Terrakion or the Rocky MC with Close Combat, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Poison Jab. So the reason I'm bringing Poison Jab is it's really only good for the Bulu because nothing else I can really touch it with. Stone Edge would do a decent amount, but nothing else would really. So having Poison Jab just kind of obliterates it. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's really all it's good for. Uh, Close Combat, Earthquake, and Stone Edge cover the rest of his team. So... Uh, it works really nicely in that sense. It just hits super hard on everybody. Uh, it should be really good. Because Terrakion is in a very good position. Because Thunderous gets one flying type move being Hidden Power Flying. So, yeah, Tornadus is the only one that gets Hurricane. So, <laughs> hopefully we should be good. I'm going to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that I'm correct on that. Yep, it does not get Hurricane as I expected. Just wanted to double check because I didn't want to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, really, Terrakion is Run's house. Now, Rock is a little more countered by his team than, uh, the, than the other typings, but, you know, um, still, I've got ground types to counter Moile, uh, Rock obliterates Mandibuzz, ground for Muck, even though Rock will hit it super hard, too. Um, Cresselia, it'll be just good to get a really hard hit off of on it, because I know that I cannot be one-shot by Cresselia. And Cresselia doesn't really threaten Terrakion as much, especially with the 124 special defense that I have. So, the speed is enough, speed to outspeed max speed Crook, which is the fastest Pokemon that this thing can outspeed. Um, so, yeah, that allows me to just have a ton in special defense so I can live special hits better, because that's really the only thing I gotta worry about, because I can pretty much one-shot the rest of his team that are physical uh crook i may even be able to one shot after an intimidate probably not but i can still hit that thing incredibly hard and i don't even think crook could one shot me and this was like choice banded so uh i need to bring a bandit to rakion speaking of which that that'll be something i really need to bring that'll be fun because it'll just run through him run through anybody actually so we're running jolly so i can put less in le i had to put less in speed uh so i can put the rest in special defense and then max out his attack and this thing's going to hit like a truck and i'm excited i think atlas should do very nicely in this match uh much better than the last match which we barely edged out so next up we have azura the azel for the life orb energy ball thunderbolt psychic dazzling gleam very similar set to what we brought last week i just wanted to bring a a, a good special hitter because this thing uh, is really good in, for that sense because it's just very good offensively. Now, once again, this Pokemon outspeeds literally everything. So, uh, I brought enough speed to outspeed Max Speed Thunderous and provided my Pokemon outspeed with no Choice Scarf. I just don't have a really good Choice Scarfer on my team because I don't really have anyone that needs to be Scarfed. Anyway, Energy Ball works super well against Melotic. That's the main reason I brought it because Melotic could be an issue, just uh, being something that just is able to take hits. I do have Thunderbolt for that too. Actually, the reason I brought both Energy Ball and Thunderbolt is I didn't really have anything else to put on it that would be any sort of beneficial. Uh, Psychic there is just to hit super hard. I mean, he does have uh, the blo the Muck and the Maze. I literally almost said Bluck and Mazikin. Uh, <laughs> Blaziken and Muck, who are both weak to Psychic and stupid dog electric obviously hits melotic pretty hard it'll hit mandibuzz that was mainly the reason i brought it is for mandibuzz uh dazzling gleam will do very nicely um i brought i brought it he originally had tyrantrum and i actually prepped for tyrantrum but flygon is actually a little more of a threat so it's not that big of a deal because still dazzling gleam it can't with levitate i cannot be touched by uh flygon's earthquake so uh if it choices itself in an earthquake then i'm good Considering I have three Pokemon that are immune this week to, to ground, so you'll probably know who I, else I brought. It's a very similar team to last week, actually. Just 
thinking about it. So, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Dazzling Gleam works nicely against Crook. Uh, I guess, well, Flag, our Energy Ball would be better than that, better for that. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, it should, this is just a Pokemon that's going to hit super hard with the Life Orb, and it should do wonders for me. Now, I really do kind of wish I had something for Moil. Uh, mainly, I didn't prep for it because I forgot about it. I couldn't run HP Fire anyway because of the EVs. Um, I could have run probably HP Ground. That would be the only thing I could run. I don't even know the EVs that HP Ground gives you, so I don't even know if that's physically possible. So, this thing is built to outspeed Max Speed Thunderous, uh, Max Special Attack, put the rest in defense so I can per chance live a knockoff, which I still probably won't because of base 70 defense, but I felt it was more beneficial than just sticking in HP because I don't feel that'll make much of a difference. So, pretty cool stuff. That is Azel Force. Next up, we have Vesuvius the Volcanion with, with that Shuckaberry once again because Shuckaberry came in super handy last week. Um, he's got Water Absorbent, Sludge Wave, Steam Eruption, Earth Power, and will o -Wisp. So Sludge Wave is the same reason that I'm bringing Poison Jab. Uh, it works really nicely against Tapu Bulu. I don't really need Fire Typing because it only works against that Tapu Bulu. Uh, so I decided that I'd rather give it Earth Power and, and uh, will o -Wisp. And I felt will o -Wisp was a good thing because he's got a lot of physical attackers. Moil, Muck, uh, Flygon, Blaziken, I can't, bla I can't burn Blaziken, Crocodile. Uh, Bulu, so he's got so many physical attackers. I'd love to get a burn on so I don't have to worry about them uh, Earth power works very nicely against the muck. I guess uh, Crook that was the main reason I brought it is no that wouldn't do anything for crook Blaziken, can maybe I don't know why specifically what Pokemon I brought it for but uh, Earth power overall <clears throat> Overall is fairly decent because he's only got like two Pokemon three Pokemon immune to it so it's just why not um, and then will o -Wisp, obviously to burn and the steam eruption because it hits super hard and I'm pretty sure it could probably one shot so many of his Pokemon because I don't believe he has a resistance to water except okay Bulu and Melotic is only water resists and Melotic if it gets burned it might have well, I still have Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave would be the best move to use against it. Anyway, I feel the Volcanion should be very nice. Uh, I brought Shuckaberry specifically because he has so many Earthquake threats. I believe Bulu gets Earthquake. I know it gets Bulldoze, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Crooked Owl with Earthquake. Blaziken, I think, gets Earthquake. Flygon definitely does. Uh, Muck might. So, and more I like too. Uh, so, I just, I just want to be able to live and attack and then fire back and obliterate them. So, overall, Vesuvius should be very nice. Uh, Thunderous Eye does kind of uh, threaten it just be being an electric type and this thing being weak to electric and not being able... Well, it'll be able to hit the thing super hard. Uh, it's just, I'm not sure if it'll live at uh, Thunderbolt. You never know. Anyways, I'm running max HP, max special attack with four in defense. Uh, mainly, I just wanted this thing to be super powerful. I just felt like that this was the best set overall. That is the, it isn't the recommended set, as you see, because <laughs> I put it in defense. I put it in defense mainly just to help me live the earthquake that little bit better. Um, but this thing is meant to just be a... a like one of those Pokemon that it's left and I can throw it out there and have it be super super helpful later in the match so uh, I think Volcano will be very nice for me so pretty cool stuff next up we have Escalators um, <laughs> we're bringing another mixed Electros with Assault Vest this time. Giga Drain, Thunderbolt, Knockoff, and U-Turn. So, I brought this thing, I brought Knockoff and U-Turn as utility moves, and that's why I actually have some attack investment, just because of using it as utility. Uh, I put the Resident Special Attack and boosting the Special Attack with the Quiet Nature so I can hit super hard. I don't believe there's any Pokemon on his team that I actually, that Escalators could possibly outspeed. I could be wrong about that, but I just... Um, I don't feel the need to put speed in into it anyway, so why not just lower its speed even more? Uh, this thing should be hitting very hard. Giga Drain is very good for Melotic. Thunderbolt is also good for Melotic. Um, you know, thinking about it, I'm not really sure why I brought Giga Drain. I mean, that may be subject to change. We'll see. Uh, Knockoff just gets rid of items on the rest of his Pokemon. It's very good for, for Cresselia, which is probably the main reason I'm bringing it. And I do kind of wish just for that that I had more physical attack investment, but the attack sets are very similar anyway, so I, it should be okay. Uh, and the U-turn hits n uh, Cresselia very hard. It also hits Quick for super effective damage. Uh, yeah, that's about it. But it'll be good to get uh, some pivot off. And even still, Crook can't really touch this thing. Uh, it can hit kind of hard with 
a stone edge or something like that or a crunch but uh it can't earthquake me so that'll be really nice and yeah pretty sure that's about all i can say about escalators here max uh hp a lot in special attack and then the rest in attack with a quiet nature so pretty much i'm just bringing it the same reason i did last time it's a utility mon that could be very helpful and i'm debating on what i do what to do about the giga drain because giga drain isn't bad i just don't need it so you know anyway next up we have tobin the gluskor we're bringing a bulky gluskor this time with toxic orb poison heal stealth rock knockoff earthquake and tailwind so this pokemon is meant to just be an irritating thing to deal with he doesn't have a ton that can actually take this on effectively which is really good uh something maybe with hp ice melotic with ice beam uh that's about it now uh, this thing i put a decent amount in special defense so this thing could be kind of bulky i put a lot in physical defense because it kind of just walls his team and uh yeah pretty much uh that's kind of about it i think i mean this thing should just be very helpful stealth rocks is very good i want to get those up because thunderous takes 25 percent uh actually th mandibuzz too mandibuzz is always an issue for me uh so if i have the opportunity to get stealth rocks up and weaken this pokemon as they come in it'd be even better knockoff as i mentioned before gets rid of items it's also really good for cresselia so that'll be pretty good earthquake is just a nice utility move on this pokemon it's the most powerful stab move it gets uh it just hits pretty hard uh, i know there are a couple pokemon that it cannot touch with it uh even still those pokemon don't necessarily threaten gliscor uh, like that being uh, freaking Thunderous, Cresselia, and what's the other one? Mandibuzz. So, um, Mandibuzz matches up better against Tobin because of this, the typing. Um, so, you know, actually thinking about it, I may run Stone Edge on this guy instead of Earthquake. Stone Edge might be a better idea because Stone Edge hits everything. I feel that's a better idea than Earthquake just for this. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, we have 8 in attack with an Adamant Nature, max HP. A lot in defense and the rest in special defense. This thing is gonna be uh hopefully my a good wall. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Gliscor. And finally, Rosbuton is coming back. We have the assault vest with Death and Gleam, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Extra Sensory. So uh we were thinking about doing Toxic Spikes Venice Shock, but uh, it's just it didn't end up working out because I'd rather have the extra sensory and dazzling gleam instead of those, or I mean I'd rather have the power with Sludge Bomb and whatnot. So Dazzling Gleam, uh, I brought for the Dragon types as well as the Dark types, which is really good. Uh, Giga Drain hits Crook as well, super hard. Sludge Bomb just obliterates Bulu. That's the main reason I brought that. Uh, Extra Sensory is mainly for the Muck, because Muck can kind of wall this thing, uh, which does isn't that great of a great of a thing. It also hits Blaziken for super effective damage. So uh, overall, this thing is just another hard hitter, uh, and yeah, I built this to outspeed max speed, what, Blaziken? I'm pretty sure it was Blaziken, base 80, uh, which also outspeeds Flygon, uh, and whatever else, because I know my is slow. I'm pretty sure, uh, no, I built, yeah, I mean, you, you weren't gonna, you aren't gonna bring a max speed Melotic, so I built it outspeed Blaziken. Um, so if he ends up bringing max speed Melotic, well, you beat me. <laughs> well, not really, but you outsped you know, it's speed by a couple points, but anyways, uh, yeah, the Soul Vest should allow me to live hits from the Melodic anyway, so that'll be nice, and I'm hitting it on the special side, so, yeah, that's pr pretty simple, I put the rest in defense so I can live a knockoff by chance, uh, I put the rest in, I put a ton in special attack, maxed it out, I don't know why I said ton, I've always said maxed it out, so I maxed out special attack, uh, so this thing can hit super hard, and the rest in speed, obviously, to outspeed Blaziken, so, that is the team we are bringing, I hope it works out, I do like the team, um, I, I feel that it, it came out very nicely. Uh, I will be changing that move on Gliscor, and I may be changing Giga Drain on Escalators. I will, I'll put a, a text thing somewhere on the screen, uh, either at the time I talk about the move, or like now when I'm discussing that I might change it, um, what it would become. Because I don't really know what else to bring, but I don't think I need Giga Drain, because Thunderbolt hits that Melotic super hard and it's stab and it also hits whatnot so i'll see what this thing can get and maybe i can get a healing move on it uh maybe i can get drain punch or something like that we'll see what happens but uh yeah so that is it thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you did like appreciate it make sure to subscribe for more and let's go iron time